Hello everybody, Sif3 again with another Inscription Cases mod run. And today I decided to do something different. Today I'm gonna do a everything random challenge. That means I'm gonna be randomizing everything that I choose, like all my choices are gonna be random, but because there doesn't really exist a way of me to be randomizing things other than throwing a dice, I'm gonna just uh, throw the randomness into the game itself. So I'm always, always, always gonna choose everything that is either left or the first, first choice. So that's how I'm gonna go. Here obviously in the beginning I can do random um, a random choice so let's just do it here random deck and we're gonna go with even the hook because i think i'm gonna need it but we're gonna definitely play against the pirate boss at the end so as i said we will always 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 choose the left uh road you know uh, the reason i decided to do this is first of all because a lot of people have requested it and secondly because um you know i decided to uh yesterday i was extremely lucky and maybe today luck is gonna carry us although i i don't really believe that that's gonna be the case and the third reason why i do that is because i have told i have said like a bunch of times that inscription is not really uh you're good at the game uh, in the, the fight itself game it's mostly a game that you have to be good at deck building itself like 90 percent of the game is the deck building aspect and the choosing correct paths and then the other 10 percent is you actually using your deck correctly so as i said we will always choose the left side or the first choice or every time the first two choices here so those were there Nice, we were actually lucky there, I didn't even see the rest, but uh, <laughs> I saw that we got Mandis and Cockroach, that's lucky. The only thing that I have the choice to choose, I guess, would be Sacrifices, right? Because, and Flames, because, like, there is no real, uh, I would always flame the Ant Queen, or I would always sacrifice the Ant Queen, and then the next one to the next one, like, that. that's not random, that's, that's just stupid in my opinion. So, let's continue going to the left all the time, we got Slithers, it is what it is, although obviously we would have liked to get Insects. But uh, RNG did not save us there. So totem event is pretty much useless for us in general, as I will not be able to create a totem that's actually useful. Especially because I was man, that that I could have gotten insect head <laughs> anyway. Let's not. Uh, I'm not gonna be thinking about the, what we could have had. I'm gonna just go with what we will have. Now this might be a loss. Okay, uh, I'm saying this right away. And if anything, if this is a loss, then one more point towards what I was trying to say from the get go that. The game is not the fight itself, but the game is, as I just said, the choices you make while creating the deck. That is mostly the game. So we continue going always left and always choosing the first card, not even looking at the rest. Not even looking at the rest. And there is a good chance we're going to lose right away. Now if we lose before the 20 minute mark, I'm going to just start another run and try to do this again. So instead of being like, oh ho ho, it's a 10 minute video, we lost right away. We're going to just do a bunch of random runs until we get something successful. So this is like the one of the few choices that I do actually have. So I'm thinking about throwing the skunk away completely. Transfer the cockroach onto the mantis so I have a decent unit that doesn't really easily die. The other choice would be to flame the mantis. Uh, actually, transferring the skunk over to something is also good. Maybe I should just burn the coyote out of the deck. Yeah, let's try to burn the coyote out of the deck. Honestly. We're gonna alleviate some of the randomness by being able to, you know, burn stuff out, etc, etc. Et let's continue going left there. The reason I burned it out is because I don't really care about life, honestly. And I think it's a bit more important to throw away trash cards from the deck than actually um, getting something useful out of it. Let's, uh... What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> I don't think that, I don't think what I said actually made that much sense. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, he attacks left and right for two damage. Here I draw a side card. Draw a card. We do one. We take one. Uh oh! I did not realize another Alcorn's gonna join. Uh, here we're gonna hammer slammer this thing for two damage. And next turn I can play the work rant and do even more damage. Now we take two. Go to the left. Very nice. Now we're gonna go with the workaround here. And now we are winning anyway. I should have played the workaround on the right for 9 damage, but it doesn't really matter. Let's continue going towards the left. See if Black is gonna carry us. We found a Dire Wolf Pop. Uh, because I'm pretty sure... You know what? People might want to see these. But uh, no. No. This this is what real randomness feels like. You see a card, you get the card. Oh, I just realized. Mm, I should have... I, I could choose randomly. Hmm. No, I'm gonna keep the choose always the left side. Uh, because the cards are flipped down downwards, I could actually say, okay, I'm gonna choose this one, and then I could just pick it up. But uh, no, I, I said I'm gonna start with only the first card. Maybe on the second run, if, if we lose, like, maybe on the second run, I can do this again. Life. That's that's not really that good. Um, Let's go with Dar Wolf Pop, I would say. As a 1-3, it's definitely gonna be able to survive and then evolve. Uh, once again, the Cockroach most likely gonna get transferred to the Mantis. That's my plan. And the skunk onto the flying ant. 
I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> Let's go here. Let's go with one defense on this thing so that when it evolves, it's like a 2 7, it doesn't die at all. Let's continue going backwards. Maybe I should give the dual strike instead of keeping the mantis as a mantis. Maybe I should transfer the dual strike on something. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with that. Grew the wolf pup. Mm, yeah, we're obviously gonna play the skunk here for the. Um, make the proc run be useless for the round. Nice. And right here we're gonna do the crazy outplay of pulling the proc run over to the right side so I can smack it and then it can it's pretty much blocked in. Everything is going according to plan. Uh, I would like the Wolverine to not kill the Mantis so we're gonna... You know everything was going according to plan until I realized that it's not going according to plan anymore. But uh, it's okay we're not gonna really have a problem with this. The Mantis will die. But uh, we're doing 4 damage per turn, so it doesn't really matter. Boop, 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 boop. And we should win. Ah, maybe if not this turn, the next one. Ah, the Antqueen is not really that useful, but it doesn't matter. I did a misplay there. Let's hope we don't lose from a misplay, right? Because that would be really bad, as I'm trying to prove that the deck is the problem and not my misplaying. Uh, and here, for example, I could choose, for example, this one. But I said I'm going to always choose the left one, so it's going to be really randomness. Okay, we've got a River Ari. This is what it is. Continue. We got double sigils here. Really sad that I'm not able to pick whatever I want, but we, we, we created something here. I mean, we're not really slitherous, and I can't control if we're not going to be slitherous or not, but whatever. Ah, so close. Uh, let's go spikes. And uh, do I have any slithers at all? Nope. I should have ha just picked up the, 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 the insect head, but I, I, I'm stupid like that. Let's get to the spikes. Let's make the slithers give us... Yeah, I should have 100% picked up the... Um, what is it called? The insect head. Uh, j just for... Ba should I? I don't know, man. It's it's supposed to be 100% random. It's like 50... F on, on the one hand, just picking the first whatever totem appears is literally throwing away the event because you cannot control what you get. On the other hand, like, who cares? Let's see what we get. Okay, I can play the skunk to buy myself a turn. And uh, then later play the Ant Queen to get the assassination going. So let's play the Skunk here. Which uh, which is not really that good, but whatever. Let's go. I could have played the Ant Queen right away, but I want to buy, buy, buy turns for myself. Because why not? Should I play them right away? I think I can straight up pass. Play the Cockroach next turn, kill the Coyote. And then also... Actually, what? Hmm. Play the Ant Queen right away. I think that's a play. Let's just, just play the Ant Queen right away. Just go for the quick win. You go here. You go here. It's not actually gonna be a quick win. Actually. You know, actually, it's not gonna actually, actually be an actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's continue doing real cards. Till I get what I need. Oh no, a Coyote. Uh, I can't get lethal right now. If I play the, if I play the playing Ant, it's, it's lethal on, on the spot. And I also will draw the pack mule cards. So, yeah, I think it's a good choice. Let's go for the lethal plus the pack mule cards. And then I have the cockroach and I can just draw real cards from the deck plus whatever he gives us. This, this should be a win. Oh, we got our sigils worth. Nice. As you see, I'm blasting through this. I'm trying to go as fast as possible here as there aren't really any choices that I have to do other than playing the game itself, which isn't hard either because, I mean, you have three cards in your hand, you just play the best ones. And uh, anything, if anything, I, I, I want to be ready to have a... Um, to be able to, you know, play a second run if I lose. Get him. Nice. Actually, not nice, because now I can't play anything. Uh, this is not good. I can play the River Otter, but we're gonna lose, because it's gonna take it three turns to kill something. I can play the Wolverine. I do one, I take two. I do one, I take two. Not really good. Can I sacrifice the River Otter? I can play the Sparrow to do one in the air and then let it die to buy myself some turns. Pops here. Yeah, I really want to buy myself some turns. How many bones do I have? I have enough to play the cockroach. It can attack it. And then the wolverine on top of that. I definitely don't want to play the river otter. Let's play. Let's play the cockroach just to do one damage and then it will die. Okay. Uh, let's draw a side deck because I need it. Okay, now I can play the wolverine. Actually, the Wolverine can kill the Adder. So, l let's just play the Sparrow. Do I have enough Squirrels? Yeah, I have enough Squirrels. So, let's play the Sparrow just to buy a turn. 
Is that a good idea? Maybe I should have played another. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Boop. I was nice. Boop, boop. Nice. We got another side card. Now we go one and the two and the one and the two and the three. Four, five, six. Do, 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 The music of Yoshi Island. Do, 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 do. Is it Yoshi Island? Damage. That's why I flamed it, by the way. And we win. Easy enough. Let's go. Imagine if we win this, then all of my runs are gonna be RNG. <laughs> all my runs from here on out are gonna be just random. I should have used this, by the way, to get rid of it. But it's an Ouroboros. <laughs> I was about to open the other ones too, but I, I just realized like half a second before I opened the other ones that... Oops, wait a minute. <laughs> I only can see one and choose one. Uh, we're gonna continue going to the left. Wait, did I, did I make a mistake? Uh, I'm always gonna go to the left, by the way, because I said a randomness on the pathing too. I, I hope I hope I didn't cheat because for some for like for five minutes there my my mind blanked. I think I was forced to go to the left anyway, so I didn't cheat by mistake. Uh, yeah, this is it. Let's see. Okay, we win. What's the first card that you're gonna give me? <laughs> that's that's how RNG goes, man. That's how RNG goes. For half a millisecond, you can see the other cards too. Let's go left path. I prefer just choosing one and being done with it than uh, trying to, you know, see the others and then be like salty and stuff. Let's go with Mantis. Yeah, Mantis, why not? No, it's a 2-1. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk a, a death there. Let's go to the left. I mean, there is no let's... I, I'm forced to go left all the time. I, I mean, I'm forcing myself. Let's let's block in the skin completely. Let the flying ant exist. Yeah, and then next turn I can play the um, the wolf pup. Take one, obviously. Oh, another skink. Nice. We were lucky. Skinks don't do that much damage. So, we will definitely out DPS here. We will do nothing here, but we will only take two. And then next turn we will do four. And we will take three. And uh, in general, we will out DPS everything. Let's go here. Uh, I can play the cockroach. I can play the cockroach here. Force the skunk to move away. Like, do for damage first and then make the skunk move away. Skunk move away. I think that's a good plan. And then next turn, play the mantis so it attacks left and right while the middle stays the tail forever. Let's do this. Hop, 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 moves away. Nice. This will do just one damage to us. Everything is within parameters. Everything is within the plan. Ouroboros is here. Maybe I should buff Ouroboros. Oh, it's a Slither. Maybe I should buff Ouroboros. Maybe I should buy myself some time here to buff Ouroboros. So, Cockroach will uh, break this so that the Flying Ant comes in. And then the other Flying Ant is going to come in too. And we're going to take 4 and 5 damage. We're about to do 2 damage this turn. Honestly, uh, if Ouroboros is fast enough to join the match, then so be it. But otherwise, I will not risk myself here. Are you join us, Flying Ant. Uh, yeah, I got lethal here and can't really do anything about it. Can I not? Can I not? Give me a sec. Can I buff Roboros two or three times before uh, this happens? I, no, I cannot because I don't have any way of sacrificing him. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, there is no way. I should have drawn a real card here because I could have played Roboros 1-2. Then the Roboros would give us this. Yeah, I can't do anything about this. I mean, I can. I can, uh, I can play Roboros and kill the left hand. And then draw another real card. I'm gonna just take one damage. Yeah, I'm gonna slow play this. Why not? Slow play time. Dies. Flying in one damage. I see the ant coming in. That's good for us. Let's go here. Nice flying ant. Uh, killer balls, clear boros. Like killer boros with the flying ant, and then play rabbit. Play boros again. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go here. Let's go here. It's gonna assassinate the other flying ant, and here we can pass. We will do no damage, but we will only take one. Continue playing ants. Uh, I can leave Ouroboros there. Sorry, real card. River Otter. Do it again. We put Ouroboros on the right side, so it does three damage. Tuk, tuk, tuk. And then we take, like, three damage. Yeah, I think that's safer. So, let's let's do it again. Let's go here. Into this. Into this. But this time we stay on the right. So we do three damage, and we take two. Yep, work around joints. Yeah, we can leave that work around to die. 
Uh, the wolf is here. Not really good one because uh, yeah, this this cannot kill Ouroboros while also. Oh, we pass here. Boop. Take one. Sack. And queen is here. Nice. So I play this. I play this. And wherever it doesn't matter. And we play this. And we pull up. Play this here. Very nice. Now we do this. And this. And this. And this. That's a 5-5, five five, so it's an insta kin kill. And, uh... Yeah, we kill him one more time, because why not? That's literally what we want to do. I cannot kill him another time. I can play him those for overkill damage, so we're definitely gonna do that. And, uh, yeah. We got about a bunch of overkill damage. Can't kill him another time, but it doesn't matter. And, uh, yeah, let's go. Boop. Boop, boop. Nice. And now we have a 6-6 six, six robots in the deck. Let's continue going to the left. I don't have any duplicates as far as I know. I said always let off one. I got a room duplicate. Wow. I actually got a duplicate. <laughs> luck, luck, man, luck. Let's see what we get. I mean, I'm forced to go for the duplicate here. Would have been actually nice if instead of having a duplicate in the previous pickup, I could have not have one so that he would have given me something to duplicate. And then over here, we would combine them again. I mean, it doesn't matter. I hope I get a duplicate over there. If I get a card, that is. And then maybe we can combine like two insane cards with a bunch of sigils and stuff. Oh, Reburst is here. <laughs> the free win. Wait, we're taking four damage turn one. That <laughs> is not good. Um, I guess we play the Mantis and just do two and two. I think it's very simple. So we do four damage turn one. I can go for a win right away, but I don't think we will ever get items. Nice. So we just need to do five damage right now. And uh, that's really easy when you have an Ouroboros, that's a 6-6. Six, six. I can also play the Dire Wolf Pup. I can delay this even more. We're about to do to take 2 damage anyway. I can play Ouroboros here. Well, I, I am going to play Ouroboros here, that's not a question. Uh, do I want to play the Wolf Pup? Honestly, I do. Honestly, I do want to get to Ouroboros going. Yeah, and I can play Ouroboros again next turn anyway. The only thing I have to do is draw a scroll from the deck, it's not really that hard. Oh no, River Art is coming in. Oh no. Oh no. What shall I do? Blur Boss right now, we're winning, so might as well do 4 damage. Hop, hop. Now we need something to sacrifice your Boss to. Okay, very nice. That's a real card. Flying Ant. Yeah. Play your Boss. Play the Flying Ant. So we go here. We go here. We go here. Sacrifice him one more time. And now we go for the lethal at 8 damage. Uh, I, I try to get the Robors to 9. Because when something is, has 9 damage, it's an insta win no matter what happens. Now at 8, it's already an insta win. But uh, you know, you never know actually. You never know. Let's see if you can win this. We'll continue going for always the last one. Boom. Okay, this is an easy win because we have like a million insects. Nope. Nope. Oh, wow. This this We lost. It happened. By the way, can I see my deck for a moment? We have... Oh, we have two canines. I was about to say we have only one Slither, one canine, and a bunch of <laughs> insects, but no, it's actually not true. We have uh, two canines. Um, still, though, we have four cards, and then we have another one, two, three, four, five. So we have four cards that are the same, and five cards that are different. And makes sense that what happened happened anyway. Pretty unlucky, though, still. Here, I'm gonna get forced to pick up the left card, which is going to be... a Ouroboros, imagine. Well, it's a wolf. It's a wolf. It's it's decent. I love the wolves. I mean, I don't I don't love them, but they're decent. Then we're gonna go left. We're gonna remove two cards from the deck. And that's something I like. That's like my only event I'm allowed to choose what I want to get. Flying end does my oh four damage coming in turn one. Doesn't really matter though. Robo is gonna join turn two and just give us the win. So here we go. Up. And take four. This, by the way, why I wanted to Robo to have nine attack because if it was one less here, I would not be able to insta win. Let's go here. Uh, yeah, there is nothing to think about. I was thinking if I could somehow play the Dark Wolf Pup and then Ouroboros again, but I don't see the, the way of doing that. Like, I can play the Rabbit, but I cannot play another Ouroboros. So, yeah, let's go for the win here. I'm not gonna make anything. I'm not gonna risk anything. There is no reason to risk anything. Let's go left path. I'm gonna get left path. We get one cost. This is always one cost. Whoop. I mean. It is what it is. This, this, the event itself is random. 
It could have been a two cost, by the way. Sometimes it's one, two, three. Sometimes it's one, two bones. One, three bones. Two, three bones. That, that's like the only chance we could have had for a two cost there. So here I can choose whatever I want. I said that this is like the only time I have the choice. I want to get rid of the skunk, in my opinion. I think that's more important than transferring the cockroach. As I do easily get bones for the cockroach, while uh, the skunk is not really that easy to get rid of. Um, although, on the other hand, the skunk is pretty decent for slow playing. Like, just play the skunk, wait, and turn because it's a one cost, just play the skunk, it's just there. Should I go cockroach on the mantis? I think that's a better idea. Beehive. I mean, I would also like to get rid of river otter, but the thing is, like, where will I put it? So... Cockroach on the mantis? I think Cockroach on the Mantis is the safest option there. Or Cockroach on the Beehive, by the way. Because Beehive cards always get the sigil that they have on them. Yeah, that's like broken. If I get infinite Beehive... Infinite Beehives and also infinite Bees themselves. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's create a broken card here. Th this card is really strong, by the way. If, if you ever get this combo, just do it. As I said, Ants, th this, this here is an infinite card on its own. It, it's not like, oh, you need to play cards because it costs one. No, it's literally an infinite card. Because the moment you play it, if it gets hit, it gives you a bee that's also infinite. And then you can play the infinite bee, sacrifice it for another beehive, and then the bee will come back to your hand, and then you can play it again. And then you have two cards that are infinite, then you can play your two costs. One of them is the bee that's free, and then you, you, it changes into each other. You just have to get hit once. As long as the beehive gets hit once, you have infinite bees. Let's see where we go for. Um, here I would say... Um, 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 I don't know why I'm saying so many M's. Let's go with... Skunk on the Mantis, to protect it from anything that does one damage, but let it die from everything else. <laughs> Skunk on the River Otter? So it's not complete trash? I mean, it is complete trash. I could put River Otter on the Mantis. River on the Mantis, so it goes under, never gets it, attacks sideways. That's also a solution. I hate River Otter, man. I, I completely hate River Otter. So right right now, can I see like all my cards? Can I see my deck? I cannot see my deck. I, I wanted to see how many one costs I have. I have I have the Beehive, I have the River Otter, I have the Mantises and the Skunk. The Skunk is decent uh, if I draw it, for example. The River Otter, if I draw it, is really bad. So I think I want to get rid of the River Otter on purpose. Now where I will put it, I can, I, I guess I can put it on reverse, but that's complete trash. I, I would say let's put it on the Mantis. So it has some kind of protection from death, at least. Uh, at the same time, like the skunk, the skunk is the skunk is a very good defensive unit. It is trash, don't get me wrong, but it, it it's okay. It, it does its job. So it's calling things trash again. Let's see what we can get here. I hate underwater, by the way, as a sigil in general. As long as you have a bunch of damage, maybe it does something, but otherwise, pretty dangerous sigil to have. Okay, we got the beehive here, which cannot get hit in this specific fight, <laughs> so that's not really good. Uh, I guess I'm going to play the skunk on the right. And just buy myself some turn. Actually, just play the Dire Wolf Pop and win. And just play the Dire Wolf Pop and win. Why would I slow play this? There is no reason to slow play this. And I'm also going to do an intermediary sacrifice. Always, 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 when you have a one cost immortal unit, always do an inter like a middle sack. Ju just for the reason that you want to uh, get a bone, get a free bone out of it. That's the reason. Get hit for one. He baits a. Uh, he baits a. Uh, oh, you're gonna lose right now. Maneuver. We're gonna out maneuver the maneuver. Damage. He hooks away. He hooks away. He hooks away. Thank you. Wait a minute. Why did he play bullfrog? Wait. Isn't the fisher like? Wait, wait, wait. The fisher is normally the, the second fight in non KC mod, and he always, always, always plays kingfisher after kingfisher after kingfisher when he is the second fight. Now that he is the second fight in KC's mod, he plays a bullfrog. What? Anyway, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. We're winning here anyway. Yeah, we're winning here anyway. So, uh, draw a real card, whatever. <laughs> play. Boop. Easy win. Nice. Will I get time to play Ouroboros? Ouroboros. Ouroboros. Yes, I have time to play Ouroboros. Uh, I mean, we can just pass here. This dies. Goofish. This also dies. <laughs> Next turn we have lethal. Now, I want to play Ouroboros. Sacrifice it. Play Ouroboros again. So, that's really easy to do. I know I could do it another time with the uh, Dire Wolf pub. Dire Wolf, not pub, just Dire Wolf. And I'm gonna do it another time with Dire Wolf because why not? Here you go. Whoop. Oh, I got a, I, I got a, I got a real infinite here. Yeah, I got an infinite. As easy as that. I, 
I just like there are so many ways to making an infinite ruboros and Casey just real Casey like the Casey devlog is like uh fecundity makes your ruboros op what I'm not doing that like nobody does the combo with fecundity what are you talking about fecundity has no has no has nothing to do with ruboros itself now you might ask why do I make that why why am I doing this like why am I bringing ruboros over to overkill numbers the reason for that is very simple. I want to be able to assassinate um, the 8 life mole man, okay? While at the same time also assassinating whatever is behind the 8 life mole man, okay? So 8 plus 8 is 16. So right now nothing at all can survive a robot hit even if it has like an 8 life background. So if for example the front line is a mole man, zero, the, the super mole man, which is a 1-8 and the back line is also 1-8, Ouroboros will backline kill both of them. Although that scenario will never ever happen. But um, I just want to say that it is what it is. I don't know, man. My, my, my strats and plans for what I'm doing things don't always line up with what is logical. Uh, as long as my strats and plans have to do with us being OP, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm more broken than I need to be. Little, 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 little money. And easy rock. This is the only way that Dice joins the club, by the way. Like, Dice will never, ever, ever <laughs> go into my deck. If it isn't for this one. Let's continue going to the left. Okay. We got another totem. Honestly, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep the totem as it is. Ouroboros being able to infinitely sacrifice. This is a definite loss. Do I have five costs in the deck? I don't have five costs in the deck, do I? Proud, why? I don't even have bone costs in general in the deck. Yeah, I don't even know my own deck. Man, It's it happens when it's random. Okay, maybe if the very left one is... Um... Oh, what did we lose? Ooh, we had this thing again. <laughs> wow, look what we are losing here. How awesome would it be if I could have chosen this one in the very, very first one and then now this one? I'm going to continue with uh, everything is random. I'm not going to cheat. Whatever we get, we get. Let's continue left side. My plan was to lose, by the way. Not on purpose, obviously. But everything here was, quote-unquote, we're going to lose this, and then this is going to happen. Okay, turn one, we do nothing, and we take nothing. Turn two, we play the Dark Wolf up, kill the Elk Fawn, and we take four damage from the Flyers. And then the Dark Wolf up will do four damage each turn. Dino is obviously useless, as something needs to attack his bell to do something. So, <laughs> classic case of Dino is useless. Let's go with Skunk over here. So we're going to somehow win. Should I should I try to win right now? I mean, the thing is that I'm not going to find other items, like, at all. I'm going to be doing four and taking four, but the moment something comes over, I can hook. If, if I need to, I can hook. Let's go. I take no damage. Okay, he played the Wolverine on the, wrong, on the wrong spot. We were very lucky today. So we're about to take four damage. It's okay. Uh-oh, that's not okay, though. Let's see what real cards we draw. If we draw, if we draw Roboros, I can just draw the squirrel. If we don't draw Roboros, I can hook one of the ravens. Okay, it's not the Roboros, but uh, I can actually draw the squirrel. This is one damage per turn. If I hook, I just win. I would say let's go for the hook for the just win. Okay, now I can no longer lose, obviously. D6 damage. We take three. Oh no, another Raven and who cares? Let's go here. We play the flying ant on against uh, the, this thing. Easy win. Another Raven and Raven X. So we're going to be taking six per turn. While uh, this turn we are doing seven damage. So this is already over. Maybe I should not have wasted the hook. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll continue on the left. I don't see items. I really hope we find like an item path on the left. Let's see what we get. Whoop. Damage is easily doable. Okay, we may win. <laughs> we double win, by the way. I mean, Skunk tried to fight it. Uh, this is not really that. Actually, this is decent. You know, this is actually decent because it will copy the attack of whatever is opposing us, right? If whatever is opposing us has less life than its attack, then the poison will backline kill whatever is behind it too. So, for example, if the opponent is a 2-1, 
I'm copying the two damage. I'm hitting it for the one life it dies. And then the other one damage will go through and kill the backline too as it has poisonous. And then when this is a 0-3, because that's what this card always is after you kill something, I can just play the ant on top of it and get a 1-2 out of it. So that was a really lucky one. I see flame and an event, so we will not find items anymore. Damage flame, nice. That's good for us. I'm going to put it in Ouroboros, honestly speaking, because... <laughs> Uh, let's put it on the map. Uh, I think on the Dark Wolf. Uh, this is, I hate this. This is good. This is good. This doesn't need to get flame. I could put the flame on this one. Make it a 1 2. I could put flame on the Skunk too. Like, this is already a good card. This is already a good card. Good card. Good card. Good card. Like, th these are playable, okay? These are playable. This is trash, but I don't want to put flame on the stupid dice. So, Beehive or Skunk, I think, is the best choice. And uh, let, let's go with Beehive. Let's go with Beehive. Skunk is most likely going to get sacrificed anyway. One flame on the Beehive is pretty decent. Let's go left. Oh, wait. Ah, this is a card choice. For some reason, I thought this was the event. Yeah, this is card choice. Quote, unquote, card choice. This, the, we might lose this. Flying Flyers have... Okay, that, that's not really that bad. But if it's going to be the classic Mole Man fight... Yeah. <laughs> exactly the fight I was uh, talking about. But it doesn't matter because we got the Robors here. And uh, I know Roboros cannot actually do damage because the mole is here, but it's going to definitely kill the Vulture. So we will play turn one the Flying Ant. So we do one damage. Uh, always, always, always Intermediary Sacrifice. Wait a minute. I don't even need to play the Flying Ant. Yeah, because this is the one damage anyway. Okay, we do that. A lot better, in my opinion. Raven is over here. So we take three this turn and... Oh, this is not good. Three this turn and through the next one, we're dead. And uh, Ouroboros can't really save us. Let's think about this. Ouroboros is going to give us... Actually, yeah, we, we can, we can, we're, we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. <laughs> we are actually alive. So we kill the Turkey Vulture. The Raven joins. Can I actually win this? First of all, I play Ouroboros no matter what happens. Oh, the Raven is not going to join. Because I'm going to play the, the beehive on the right so that the mole blocks it. Haha, <laughs> that's how we play this. So the raven will not join as the mole is going to go to the left. So we don't take anything this turn. Easy enough. A lot better than what I thought I was going to go for. Let's go real card. Let's go flying ant to do one damage. We're both going to backline kill that thing. Mm, yep. And now we play the beehive on the right so that it does damage. Could have killed the Robors and transferred it somewhere else, but it doesn't matter. Now the backline mole kill there. And then we do two damage and we take two. Yeah, at this point we can't lose anymore anyway. Oh no, an alpha. Oh no. Uh you know what? I wanna show you what I meant with the beehives. Okay. Uh we cannot really lose here. Can we lose? No, I'm gonna play the bee. I'm, I'm gonna play the Dark Wolf anyway. Wait a minute. If I play the Dark Wolf, can I play the Beehive too? Is it a good idea to experiment right now? I think it is as good as any. Yeah, I m might as well experiment a bit. Why not? So we go. Wait, wait. Beehive goes on the left. Does one damage too. So we do two damage and take three. And we should be alive. I know playing with fire is not always a good idea. <laughs> Let's play the beehive on the left. So we we do one and t we do two and take three. That's not really that bad. And I, I will get the infinite uh, beehive here going just just to show you what I meant previously. Look at this. And this beehive is immortal. That that bee is immortal. So I obviously don't need to do this. And now I can I have an infinite here with with the beehive itself. So I we can do here this one, and then do hop hop. We play Ouroboros for the win because we don't need anything else. We play the bee, and the bee plays the beehive. And then the bee comes back to hand. You see? And I can play the bee again, play this thing, and then play the bee again. Like, we have an infinite here. And uh, for two costs, by the way. Because, as you see, we have a beehive and a bee. So even if I had a two cost, I sacrifice the bee and the beehive. Both of them come back to hand. With the bee, I play the beehive. And then I the bee, because it comes back to hand, I can play the bee again. So we have infinite two cost sacrifices here. I, I just wanted to explain it and show it. I, I'm pretty sure a bunch of you understood this already previously, but I wanted to also showcase it to for be, for it to be more understandable. Let's go left side, obviously. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even saying this. Okay, here. Uh, life. Whoa. Bones. Well, this is a loss, obviously. Yep. 
If anything, I'm happy to lost. We haven't drawn the simple wolf ever. Maybe I should try to burn it out of the deck right now. Damage, nope. We're not gonna waste damage, obviously. Let's put it on the skunk so it also has at least one attack. I could also try to flame the skunk out of the deck so that I have a mantis as a one. So my one cost right now are beehive, mantis, and skunk. I don't have any other one cost. So if I try to flame the skunk out of the deck, my, manta, my one cost are gonna be mantis and beehive, which both of them are decent. So I think I should just try to burn the skunk out of the deck. Because from these two ch three choices, the skunk is the worst one. So let's try to do that. And uh, maybe maybe it's going to become a 2-3, you know. Maybe it's going to become a 2-3. It's a 2-3. Okay, now now it's actually not the worst choice. <laughs> it's actually... I mean, it's, it is still the worst choice, but uh, at least it's, it's it's something. Let's see what we can do. For Boros, very nice, easy win. Okay, we got the Beehive again. I mean, we play the Beehive on the left, and we win. Because now we get infinites. Up. Yep, beehive. Let's go. I, I don't need to draw this anymore. I have infinite sacrifices. So, we're about to take four damage in the air. Is that bad? I mean, it doesn't matter that we take four damage. We are going to take two damage in the air because I'm going to play... Okay, l let's start. So, Roboros. Hop, hop. Boros goes here. Kills the raven. Now we go with Dius, which can kill the other raven egg. So we're gonna go B, into Beehive, into B, into the Dius, over here at the right, so it kills the other Raven Egg. And then we're gonna go, you know what, B, into Beehive. Stupid snow here. Let's go. Dead, dead, dead. No, oh, no, the Cuckoo. <laughs> and we win. I mean, I, I showcased the, the combo there of the previous fight, but uh, this fight, it was even more apparent, right? You understand what I mean. Let's see what, what we go for. Let's go this path. I don't even know why I'm saying the path. This is either one cost or two cost. This is one cost. So this is either three and uh, bones or two and bones. I, I just want to open them to showcase. So actually, yeah, let's open this. So this is either two or three. Black goat, okay. I just wanted to showcase what I meant. Okay, here we're obviously gonna throw the black goat out. Black goat, you're out. From all my one show, one cast, it's the worst one. I was extremely lucky that I got this here. Let's continue. How many times did we find totems today? <laughs> Useless again. I will continue with Slitherheads. As I don't even have a single one of this and this. Like, oh, how, how? <laughs> we got the worst, uh, definitely, we got uh, literally the worst heads. So, I mean, I have the dice. For the <laughs> wow, we have one slither and one elk and no flyers. And I have gotten the slither head, the elk head and the flyer head. <laughs> How stupid is that? Let's continue. Let's see what we go for. Yep. Oh. I'm skinning you, yeah, until I draw a burst turn one, and then you're gonna see who's gonna skin who. Whoop, this is not good. How does it happen that in the boss fights we always draw trash? It is what it is. This thing, by the way, cannot even kill the trap. This is like a lame blocker. Flying ant, hmm. I mean, the flying ant can kill the strange frog easily. Uh, but I think I should play the flying ant here. And then I can play like this for a double ant. Yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna do that, just, just get double ants going. Flying end in the middle, uh, work around on the left, and then both of them will die. Is this a good idea? I, I want to slow play this, but and then I can play the wolf from the back. Do two damage with the flying end. Yeah, let's see how this will go. Let's see how this will go. On the left. Should I play the second end or should I let this die? No, this is not gonna die anyway. Let's go here so I can do more damage with the flying end. Let's go. Okay, Bullfrog is there. That's not bad. Let's try to draw something powerful. Ant Queen, not really good. This dies, this dies. No, this doesn't die. This vibe is... Two. We, we, we still have time. Warcrant's dead, but this Flying Ant uh, will get played slowly. <gasps> no! My calculations were off! That's not good. Uh, not only is this not good, this is panic time, but... I mean, I can play the wolf on the left by playing the squirrel. 
I can also play the Ant Queen on the left, and I don't think it's gonna get one-shot anyway. Draw a squirrel, draw the squirrel, play the Queen Ant on the left, does one damage, we take two, and the next turn I can play the Work Rant, it will backline damage the Bullfrog. Let's play the Ant Queen on the left. One damage, we one do one, we take two. Another? No! This is really bad. Uh, this is really, really bad. I need to avoid the adder because if I lose my unit with toast, I think I want to sacrifice the ant queen on the work rant. Let the adder come through alongside the bullfrog and then play the wolf on the very left by sacrificing the work rant. So right now I can draw a real card, see what we get. Skunk. Ooh, the skunk is carry. Skunk is a carry. Let's go skunk on the left. This is a lot better than what I previously was going to go for. We do two and take two. Okay. Still alive, still alive. Play the work round to delay a bit. Up, up. The adder doesn't matter. I want my super cards, not my super cards. Up, up. Work round's dead, we take two. Do two, take two pretty much. Yep, doesn't matter, still alive, still alive. Our wolf pop. Uh, yeah, let's try to play that. So we do nothing, take two. Play the player for safety. No, wh why? There, there is no safety problem happening here. That wolf's mad though. I'm scared. Let's go off up here. So we do two and take one. The wolf, the wolf is not only not gonna kill the skunk, but it's also gonna die from the skunk. Up. Oh, we two do take two. Still control the match. I, I'm, I'm still under control here. I, I still control everything. Let's continue going on. This is dead. This is dead. And we also do two. Pop, pop, pop. Nice. He didn't even play anything. Nice. Now we try to draw Roboros. Beehive's here. That's really good. That's really, really, really good. Uh, I don't think I need the skunk anymore. If anything, I want the infinite beehive. So let's play the beehive on the right here. I don't care about the skunk if I'm if I'm if I can take infinite bees. And we got our infinite bees. It's over. Easy win. So we're gonna play the B over here so that we get one last one of those. Pass. Boop. Boop. Win. Boop. We get another one of those. And now I can pretty much destroy the whole front line as we have gotten four wolf pelts. With four wolf pelts, you always insta win on this fight. So we did insta win now. Nice. It was going a bit dangerous there at some point, but we, we reeled it back. Reeled it back? Reeled it back? I don't even know. I, I, I'm, I, I don't know about fishing terms. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just take the front line. And we win. He even gave us a rattler. Wow. Aeroboros, yay! <laughs> Let's go Infibi. Infibi. Hobbity hobbity. Your life is my property. <laughs> Let's go with... Do I have a six cost or something? No, I try to just do the most damage possible. My bones are sitting over there pretty nicely. We even got the rabbit that has the evolution sigil because this thing gave us a rabbit that has the evolution sigil. Nice. Wait a minute. Why doesn't the Roboros... Look at this. Because the Rattler has this thing plastered on, the this rabbit gives you the plastered on sigil. But because Roboros has a main... This has his main sigil, it doesn't give an infinite rabbit. We could have had so much... Uh, uh, so, uh, so, we could have been so much more powerful. Easy win. Hop. Now here the left path is always the same as far as I know. Like the left path is always sacrifice. Outlice, no. No. The worst possible card that we could have gotten. Outlice, even though Rayuli would be better. Let me see, is it always sacrifice? Yeah, I guess it's always sacrifice. I, I, I don't care. I, I said always left. I don't have anything randomizer or open. Well, we can obviously throw away the Outlice. Uh, put it on the skunk. So it becomes insane. Yeah, now if I draw the skunk as my one cop, I mean, I could put it on the flying ant too. Wait a minute. So right now, I think from these two, now the flying ant is the worst card that we have in the deck. Because the skunk is actually really good right now. So let's go with the flying ant gets the double attack sigil. Otherwise, like, the skunk is obviously insane already. So let's put it on this one so it at least does something. The skunk does not need something. Let's hope we draw the beehive. If I draw a beehive turn one, we win. If for my one cost. It's it's one out of three, right? No, it's 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 one out of four. I just realized I have four one costs. I didn't realize. So 
I hope I draw the beehive as my one cast of the cho of choice. Otherwise, I hope I draw the skunk. I, I'm sorry that I don't read what he says, but the challengers tell no tales. Yeah, let's draw, draw, draw the beehive, 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 bee, 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 bee. Skunk as our one cho cast of choice. But we have the infinite sacrifice as wolves, so it's something. I can also play the Dios with the infinite sacrifice wolf. I can actually play everything, right? Play these two on the wolf. Then the wolf plays... No, I cannot play the dice. Then the wolf plays the, the skunk pretty much. <laughs> I would say I play the wolf here. So it does 3 damage to the seaman. And then 3 damage to this seaman again. And then the skunk, I think, should be on this spot. So it also does 2 damage to the seaman. So then this will have 2 life pretty much. So it hits, hits, hits. And it's a 2... No, wait, this does 3 damage. 3 and 3 is 6, and then another one is 2. So, it's not a good idea to... What are you... Go what, what, what's this light doing? Where are you going, light? I cannot play the dives now, can I? No, I cannot. So, we attack left, right, and 2 damage. And this dies. We take one from this mole man, and the seaman, and the skeleton crew is just gonna do 1 damage to the skunk, so who cares? Next, Then next turn, 3, 3, and another 2. The small seaman is dead, and then we just only have to deal with the brittle units. And just we, we just hope that we do not get bombarded on my good cards, okay? That, that's the plan right now. So we go skunk. And uh, we pass. Up, up, dead. We take one. The skeleton crew is gonna kill my wolf. That's really not good. The wolf is already dead. Let's see what we can draw. We drew another wolf. Uh, this is not good. The only thing that is actually good is that this small seaman is also dead. And we're gonna take two from the brittle unit. And the skunk is gonna survive, so we will be doing two damage for each, per each turn. Yeah, I, I want to keep the skunk alive. So let's hope the explosions happen at the end. If the explosions happen at the beginning, we will have a problem. I still don't know when exactly they happen, so we're not gonna have a problem. We're just gonna take the damage. Let's go. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, okay, explosion. Nice explosion happens later. No, we lose the skunk. This is a 2-3 flyer. We're gonna take 2 damage and do 2 damage. Uh, I still need to draw my good cards. If I draw one of my 1 costs here, I will be able to transfer the skunk away. Otherwise, I can just play the wolf right now. I think I should just play the wolf right now. Because the bomb here is gonna be bad. Let's let's play the wolf right now. Or, or the Dius, for that matter. Because the Dius is at least gonna set up some belts. Although those belts might actually kill us later down the road. So no, let's actually play the wolf. We might lose this, by the way. We might actually lose this. I don't have control of the match right now. Oh, we're gonna lose the wolf too. No! <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're dancing. We're dancing. Pass. Up. No! <laughs> this happens, obviously, on purpose. Yes! We drew the card that is gonna get, win us the game next turn, obviously. Uh, this bell here is a problem, but it doesn't matter. Pass. We win, we win, we win. This is over. We have one. And yeah, we take two. Who cares? Kaboom. Uh, nice, the bell is gone. He doesn't play anything else, I guess. Boom. Uh, yeah, he doesn't play anything else. It's over. We won. Kaboom. Uh, beehive is here too. Kaboom. Uh, oh, there, there are no kabooms happening. Kaboom. You can see how boring this fight is? Like, wait, 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 wait. So this fight is, it starts with two mole men, and then he plays one skeleton, one flank skeleton, another skeleton, and another flank skeleton. That's it. And then there is the bombs. And then you just draw your deck and win. You pass. Yeah, that's the fight. That's literally the fight. Did they, did they, did, did, did they, like, try? Did they try? Did they really try? Like, was there um, an attempt to actually make this extremely hard? Or what? what what's happening here, man? Lashy, yo, what did you do? Why? Should have played the wolf, by the way. Yar? What do you mean, Yar, man? This is a joke. This is a joke fight. The, the moon is harder. This boss is easier than the normal boss. This is not a challenge. This is a joke. Let me show you how much a joke this is, okay? First of all, where's the second mole man? This 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 phase normally plays the second mole man. Or, or did he play him and kill him all right? Oh no, Rebupa's gonna die. Who cares? Like he's not gonna play anything else. It's over. He, he's not gonna play anything else. 
did he did did did, did they call this correctly? What what what? I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna beat this thing with only the Roboros. Oh, actually, I'm gonna even play the Beehive just to rub it in. You know what? Instead of singing, no. What do you mean? It's a joke. It's a joke. This boss fight is a joke. Okay, first boss fight. First boss fight. At phase one, he plays a simple mole man. Then he plays a 3-3 three three that does not have brittle. Then he plays a Mattis God that does not have brittle. Then he plays another 3-3, three three, another Mattis God, another 3-3. Three three. And then in the meantime, he hammer slammers you, you lose all your units, and then he tries to hook one unit away. And then he plays a bunch of insane stuff like, um, what are they called? Grizzlies. And uh, he says, oh, you can get one of my units away, you know? And then at the second phase, he starts playing death cards. If you have a death card in the main game, he even plays your death cards. But in the second game, he plays the death cards that are poisons and stuff. He puts in fears in front of you unit so maybe you cannot kill him right away and then he plays the moon which is a joke and this one it's just a joke <laughs> he plays two more sea mole man one bone one flying bone another bone and another flying bone and then th that's it he doesn't play anything else he just stops playing completely we're gonna I i'm gonna make a joke out of this let's go thank you for the infinite b let's go again b into beehive into b Again. Yep, we get it back to hand. Back to hand. Uh oh. We might run out of cards. Okay, I don't want to risk losing. Although I think I already have risked losing. Yeah, we are already close enough to losing right now. <laughs> we might actually lose. Does poisonous work on this? No, it does not. Let's go with as much damage as possible. So that means we obviously play the B. We obviously play another B. We obviously play an. I don't have another B, but it doesn't matter. We play Ant Queen. Yeah, the music is nice though. We go here, we go here. I hope we're not gonna lose from. Oh, oh, oh! We, we might get carried from the pack. What? Too late. I'm gonna play the pack right next turn. Because we're gonna lose anything anyway. Let's go. 3, 3, 17, 3, and 3, 6. Boop, dead, 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 dead. Last card. Uh, let's see what we can draw as an item. That is. Where's my item? Doesn't matter though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. You know what? I'm even gonna let starvation hit. I'm even gonna let starvation hit. Come on, starvation. What's gonna be? What? Uh, come on, starvation. There isn't even starvation. There is not. There. It, there isn't even starvation, man. There isn't even starvation in this. I lost. Ye. I lost because I'm easier than the actual final fight. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, we got the pirate boss. Oh, the pirate boss is hard. As I said, normal final boss fight is first turn he starts with a mole. Okay, it's worse than two mole main, obviously, right? The first turn he starts with a mole main, and literally the next turn he plays uh, three, the three three. Then he plays a multi attack. Then he plays a three three. Mantis got three three. Mantis got the three three is amalgam, by the way. Mantis got amalgam. Mantis got amalgam. And then at some point he hammer slammers. He hooks. He tries to play a grizzly. Obviously, he gives you a pelt in hand so that you can take the grizzly away, but he gives you one pelt and he plays like three or four units when he does that. And he even plays broken units and stuff. Then, second turn, he plays a bunch of fears. He plays a bunch of um, units that have either spikes or poisonous or whatever, you know, he plays KC, he plays a bunch of death cards. And he continues hammering, slammering and hooking and stuff like that. And then the third phase is the moon, which is obviously easier than the, the, the ship. But, this fight starts with two mole man, and then he just plays... 8 damage in brittle units, right? Because the flyer is a 2 attack unit and the bones are also 2 damage units. So he plays 8 damage in brittle units and then it's done. It's over. Then he doesn't do anything else. Phase 2, he just plays another 2 mall man. It's like... It feels like 100% chance that one of the two is gonna be on the cannon spot and then literally it dies instantly. So he plays 1 mall man and that's it. Like, there is nothing to... It's, it's, it's too easy. No, I know I'm I'm like an advocate of make, make the game easy because uh, it's more fun to be broken and stuff like that. But um, this this is not a challenge. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Maybe they're waiting to making it uh, a bit more challenging. I mean, if if I'm gonna go for a challenge, then yes, make it challenging, right? If I'm gonna choose the hard boss fight challenge, then yes, make the boss fight hard. In general, I'm against nerfing the main game. 
I'm against making the main game challenging because if I want to have a chillaxed experience and if I want to be able to do this run that I just did, right? For me to be able to do this run, the random run, whatever, the only way for me to be able to do that is if the game is a joke. So I want to be able to have fun, play random builds, uh, try to use trash cards to see if I can win with trash cards, try to play random runs to see if I can win with random runs. That's why I need the game to be easy, to be able to have fun. But if I'm going to choose the final boss challenge that makes the final boss harder, I don't want to be that boss to be easy. I want to lose against that boss. I mean, I don't actually want to lose against that boss. I want to, it to be challenging, you know. I don't want it to be uh, two, uh, two eights that attack the whole board or everything you have dies or everything. You know, I, I don't want it to be the final fight of more that's what i'm trying to say but i do want it to be harder than the the boss fight that the the game itself has right I, it makes sense right it, it makes sense i don't want it and that's like the only thing i'm saying i don't want it to be extremely challenging i don't want it to kill me in one run literally i don't want it to be destruction itself but i want it to be at least harder than the base boss fight okay that, that's that's what i'm saying it's 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 very simple maybe 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 if you go for this challenge here, which is this, boss battles are also totem battles. Maybe if you go for this one, maybe then it's extremely hard. Maybe. But I'm not sure. <laughs> and I don't think so either. Anyway, uh, I hope if they ever, ever change the boss and make it harder or whatever, please include what you changed in the, in the, in the patch notes. Please don't just say, we made the bo pirate boss harder. No, just, just say, we made it so that the second phase does this and this and this. So we know, man. We I, I like to know. Anyway, uh, that's that's going to be it. Um, there, there was like, like my two previous videos talked about the modern community uh, in general, like the modern community came, came in front and talked about this whole thing. And everybody was like very uh, positive and thankful. And, uh, like at the end of the day, maybe, m maybe I took a few things too, too personal. And, um, yeah, at the end of the day, like everybody is positive about the whole thing and they're trying, they tried to witch hunt to see who was the culprit at the end of the day. Don't do that. I mean it's okay it's uh, what's done is done thanks for all the support at the end of the day uh, i'm at, at the end of the day i'm really happy that i'm part of the community seems like people do, do actually care I, I mean you know that's the thing if uh, if you don't talk about anything like nobody's gonna tell you yo you're good yo you're awesome yo yo let's go let's go let's go yo I, i'm with you i'll stay positive you know nobody's gonna go ahead and just say that randomly so it really felt from my side that because people will come ahead and, and say negative things about you right uh, that you know, only negative things happened. But at the end of the day, it was just me. So I am sorry if I, I, I instigated the witch hunts or whatever. But um, I, I was wrong about that. Like, thanks for all the support, everybody. Thank you very much. I will go back to modded, but I just realized that I wanted to do this random run today. So that's that. And once again, thanks for all the support. Also, obviously, thanks for the patrons for the support because they're really helping. And if you also want to help me, just drop a like. It's the easiest thing that you can do that helps me. <laughs> uh, uh, promotion uh, side. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as I said. Uh, I'm sorry if I instigated witch hunts. I really didn't want to do that. Uh, thanks for everybody coming in front. Uh, I, m maybe I was a bit too much. You know, I, I was a bit um, over overestimated how neg how much negativity there was because, as I said, uh, there is a higher chance that somebody that has something negative to say to you says something negative than somebody who has to say something positive to you says something positive. So because most of the time I'm nitpicking things about mods and stuff, it always felt like somebody came along and said, "Oh, shift is negative again about my mod." So that's that's why I had the feeling that the modern community didn't, um, you know like quote unquote didn't i guess like me i don't know but uh, it seems like i'm wrong about this because of the reasoning i just said right nobody's gonna go ahead and say oh yo look at this it's another awesome sift video today look at this he awesomely described this negative thing over there he once again gave good points oh yeah obviously no, nobody's gonna come ahead and just say random things like that so that's why i felt uh, the modern community was against me but at the end of the day i was wrong about that so once again sorry for all this uh, quote-unquote drama but uh, from the get-go i tried to explain that i didn't want to create drama i just wanted to explain my reasoning for the burnout now the burnout is obviously still happening because i'm still playing the same game but um <laughs> it's it's gonna it's a slow burn you know um anyway uh, as i said that's going to be it so i hope you guys enjoyed i definitely did i was expecting us to lose right away by the way by the way, right away, yo, Sift is rhyming, anyway, uh, <laughs> and I'm also adding the new, uh, yeah, as I said, I, I was expecting us to lose, but at the end of the day, we didn't lose, now, is it because I was lucky, maybe, is it because I'm awesome at playing the game, 
who knows maybe but at the end of the day as long as i had control of what i want to sacrifice and what i want to use the flame on it was an easy fight uh, because obviously i can just create my broken cards at the end of the day however i want we definitely were lucky with some things like we got roboros and we got a few things there that uh, worked for us but at the end of the day it was a random run and uh, i i know that a few people uh, suggested it so i went ahead and did it so i hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah i think uh, that's going to be it so once again thanks for watching and see you guys around